What's up guys? Welcome back to Sugar. Back to another video and today we're in the 135. I have all the packages right down there. I'm gonna get it out to you guys right now. If you guys want to order anything to support the channel, first link down below. Today, in the first part of the 800 horsepower build, we got a lot of maintenance done. We got the oil pan and the engine mounts, two of the hardest things to get done. In today's video, we want to take care of every little thing that could possibly cause issues once we start pushing power. And oh my gosh, guys, we have so many mods. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head down to the shop. something next to the shop imagine that's our shop guys that would suck almost there boys all right guys so i just got down to the shop here's johnny my boy he's just chilling but today we're gonna be working on the 135 so uh yeah let's just open up the garage get the car in here and uh, see what we're about to do i'm super stoked trying to get all the maintenance done on this thing so we are ready to push some major power i already spoke to burger tuning and pretty much we're gonna be full sending this to at least five to six hundred horsepower on stock turbos i think 600 is pushing stock turbos i think 500 is that gets maxed without actually messing them up but we're gonna try to push them and if they blow they blow we'll go ahead and upgrade them as well but the kit's coming in so we're gonna be moving up pretty quick and as soon as we blow those turbos we're gonna have to go single turbo so you guys are probably like nori i don't think you're gonna do it um i think so so Let's get it up. We got the car on the lift. We're gonna go ahead and just break all the bolts loose and uh, just take off the wheels. Let the car cool down. I just came back for about an hour drive. Yeah, I live like 45 minutes to an hour from the shop. It's kind of crazy, but do what you gotta do, you know? Let's go ahead and just break all these bolts loose, take off all these uh, wheels. And at the same time, I think I'm gonna get rid of the locking lug nuts. A lot of my friends have been stripping the lug nuts right lately, so I don't wanna even risk it. Uh, once I'm gonna be taking this thing down to the track, I'm gonna put their original lug nuts. They're probably even stronger too. I think that's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, guys, now that we got all the wheels off, uh, we're just gonna be waiting for all the brakes to cool down. So let me go ahead and show you guys the new brakes that I got for this car. So we just got all four rotors. These are drill slotted rotors. Went ahead and also got the sensors and the rear and front brake pads. These brake pads in the front are ginormous. So this is a brand new kit. I have a link down below if you guys wanna also cop this kit. I think it was like shy of like $400 or $300. It's actually really affordable. I remember when I was trying to do my M3 brakes, it was like shy of $3,000. So $300, that is a really good price. As you can see, your man's really sweating. It is super hot and that's why I like, Every time I come to the shop, my allergies get super crazy. I like, sweat like hell. I don't know what's up with this giant garage, but it just gets really hot really quick. Anywho, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer for all the brakes to cool down. We were using it in the entire drive here, so I'll cut back to you guys in probably an hour. Peace. Guys, I think it's time now. Uh, let me go ahead and just hold it. Yep, I think it's a little bit warm, but it's been about an hour. I don't wanna waste any more time, so let's get right into it. We just got the caliper out and uh, looking at this, these pads look like they're literally gone. Like look at those, that is insane. These are pretty much shot. I can hold both of these in my hand like no problem. Look at the girth difference. That's how it's supposed to be and that's how it is. Let me go ahead and put it side by side on it. New and old. That is literally less than half. That's crazy. Even the, the plates are still on this. The plates literally disintegrated off of that. So we're gonna have to get rid of these guys. Actually, before we get rid of it, I think I need to compress it. Yeah, so we go ahead and put those uh, brake pads on there and recompress it. I'm gonna use a C-clamp for this. I'll show you guys how I do that. these rotors um they actually have a lot of life in them they just have a lip i'm pretty sure these can get resurfaced i wanted to upgrade so i went ahead and ordered the new rotors anyways but uh these aren't bad at all it's just the brake pads are completely shot all right let's go ahead and throw on the new one boys absolute mess guys but we did it got the new brake pads in here got the new rotor on here let's do the rest All right guys, just knocked out the second front, so that's two down. Now, it's time to do the rear. <music> guys, here are the befores. Look how thin these are. Here are the afters. What a difference, oh my God. So let's go ahead and install these guys real quick. Get it right now. Yeah, push over there. Guys, 
guys, when I took out the sensors, the whole harness came out. Looks like it was ripped before and they just taped it together. That's mint. And this is why I don't trust the shop. Look what they did to the brake sensor. They literally just, they literally just connected the circuit. So it basically says your, your brake pads are always good. I don't trust mechanics whatsoever. That's why I started working on my own cars. Alright guys, I just went ahead and finished this. Again, this is just dirt. It'll all come off once I actually start riding the car. I put in the new sensor. I pretty much just put one zip tie back here to hold it. I wired in the actual sensor. Alright guys, so we just went ahead and finished up putting up all the rotors, all the new brakes. Um, they look super good. I love how they look. Again, rotors, brakes, all done. I, this is the M Sport model, and 135 M Sports come with the bigger brake kit, so it looks so good. The caliper looks so beefy. These are two pistons in the front. They just look so good, oh my god. They are super dirty because my hands are super dirty, but uh, once I drive it and wash it, everything will be good to go. If you guys look at this side, uh, there's two wires going in this side and one wire coming out that side with the zip tie. So you already know they cut the wires and they started it together to bypass the system. So let's go ahead and add the new sensor. So when we actually have bad brake pads, we'll know. All right, guys, there's my actual fix. I got the wire routed right there and plugged into the bottom. So we finally have both sensors. We have all the caliper. We have all the rotors, all the brake. Let me go ahead and clean up all this mess real quick. And just like that, guys, the car is officially down with the new brakes and rotors and sensors. The car needs a wash. Let's go ahead and get the car outside, give it a good wash, and then I'm probably gonna clean up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same video, but tomorrow. We got a lot more things we gotta do to make sure this thing's ready for some major power. But yeah, your man looks like an absolute wreck. So uh, yeah, oh my God, looks like I just got in a fight or something. Let me get the car out, clean it up, and then get cleaned up myself, my God. Man, guys, this thing is hella dirty. Let's go ahead and get it cleaned up. Guys, this is looking so much better. Oh my gosh, new everything. This thing's almost ready to kick some massive power. It's been an absolute long day. I am super dirty. I'm gonna go wash up in there before I head home. I don't wanna get like, I don't wanna get into the car like this. But oh my gosh, guys, this car is really coming together. I'm super excited for the power gain. Before fun, you have to do maintenance. I did that on the 435 before I went all out on the mod. It's currently on stage two, but it's running so reliably. No leaks, no issues, no codes because I did all the maintenance first. And I'm kind of a hypocrite. Back in the day, when I mean back in the day, I mean last year, I used to do mods before maintenance and uh, I've learned my lesson. Without further ado guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, head home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys at day two. And welcome back to day two, y'all. So I'm over here heading to a gas station, eating my apple, trying to be a healthy little fella. So yeah, let's get some gas, drop off you guys' packages, because apparently yesterday was closed. I didn't really think of that. And then head down to the shop, meet up with Erlon and Johnson, and get some more stuff done. Guys, I'm kind of editing this, and I noticed I don't actually have a legitimate transition. So basically, uh, this next footage you guys are about to see is from two weeks prior. Uh, we needed to do the AC condenser, but we didn't have enough footage to add anything else to it. I didn't want to upload a five minute video, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in right now. So guys, we had the bumper off, a uh, couple pieces for the bumper and the radiator support. So I think at this point, to remove the radiator support, um, we do have some washer things here, so that's gonna get in the way. Uh, we do have a couple sensors here and there as well that connects to the car. But I do think removing the radiator support, just a couple bolts, we should sure to remove this whole front clip. I don't think it's gonna be easy, don't get me wrong guys, but I, do, I don't think it's gonna be as hard as trying to get that radiator out and draining all the cool and everything. So let's go ahead and disconnect everything and unplug all the wires and then just get this whole front clip off. This might take us some time, so I'm gonna throw in full time lapse mode. I'll let you guys know if this is something that's easy or really hard. Right, guys, this thing looks totaled, uh, but I do think we can fit in the condenser a whole lot easier now. What do you think? Sure. All 
right, guys. So looking at it now, we got the new. Well, this is a, this is an OEM. I went with OEM used because I just don't like aftermarket stuff when it comes to condensers, at least. So I went with an OEM used one. I think this is like nearly a hundred dollars, just as much as like aftermarket one. Went with an OEM one. Um, we got the AC lines hooked up. Hope to God this is your issue. So we're gonna go ahead put in some AC while this whole front clip is off because if this is still leaking, we wanna be able to take it off easy. You don't wanna put the whole clip back on and then that's still leaking. And if it is still leaking, we can go ahead and see if it's this or it's something else because everything's exposed. So let's go ahead and put in some refrigerant and uh, hope to God this car's got AC on the way home today. Two, uh, one, go. All right, AC all the way up. All right, go ahead and turn it off. I hear nothing. Hey, let's keep go. going, big boy. All right, guys, finally got AC working, car finally pa passed smog, EVAP systems, everything's good to go. So no check engine, smog is ready, it's registered, and we finally have AC. So you guys know what that means. Pretty much we should just get straight into the mod. So we're gonna go ahead and reach out to Burger Tuning. We're gonna get everything we need to get this thing to either 450 or 500 horsepower on these turbos, and then once we blow them, uh, we'll go single turbo. Because honest to God, I think I'm gonna go full send on this build. I do, oh, I've always wanted a track build slash drift build, so uh, I do wanna build it and take it out and rip it and do all that good stuff. And yeah, as you guys saw, we are at the end of the video. So basically, car is registered. Car has pretty much everything it needs in terms of maintenance. Shout out to Roland for coming out and helping me and also shout out to Jonathan for also helping me on this car. The car is literally perfect and ready for some major power. Without further ado guys, um, cop some merch to support your boy down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.